So we've all been told that we need to be healthier and fitter throughout our lives. And there's way too much information out there telling us how to be healthier and fitter and gives us way too many details, way too much science, way too many things to measure. It just feels so complicated that we don't even do it. But we watch all the content. So I thought I'll give you seven things that you can do if you're in 20s or in your 30s or even your 40s like me that just make you feel healthier and fitter. Um, I've learned this at 42. I'm hopefully learning it before I have. And these are the things you can actually do in your life right after watching this video. So let's start with seven things that you can just change in your life that will make you feel healthier and fitter. But before you go there, I want to make sure you hit subscribe and click on that bell icon and I'm sweating. So uh, I'll just wipe it off a little bit and we'll go into the first point. There's a quote which I really love. It says, treat your body rigorously so it doesn't become disobedient to the mind. You know, and this basically says that you need to give your body something to do which has rigor and that actually builds your mental strength as well. So make sure you go for a run, go for a walk, play a sport, do any form of physical activity every day. Make sure there's at least some one hour or a 30 minute period where you do some sort of physical activity. It doesn't have to be the gym. You know, there's this feeling that you have to always be in the gym for you to be physically active. It doesn't mean it doesn't matter if it's in a gym, you can go out for a run, you can play a sport with your friends. We've all been told that sports is for people who are athletes, but everybody can be an athlete. I love this term, it's called the everyday athlete and you can be that. So just get out there, do something physical and give your body some rigor and do that almost every single day. And suddenly the way you feel changes and once the way you feel changes, everything else comes in after. We all get diet advice, but food is about a game of one thirds. When I say one thirds, is look at every single plate of food that you eat. It needs to have one third of protein, one third of vegetables, and one third of carbohydrates and fats. That's all you need. Every meal that you have, just look at your plate. Are you having enough protein? Are you having enough vegetables? And how you and everything else that's filling it in there. Carbs are not bad. Carbs are good for you. Carbs give you energy. Even a certain amount of fat gives you energy. The problem is that all of us tend to focus too much on weighing things out. So oh, I can't eat so much protein. It's just one third. Just have chole if you're a vegetarian. Have paneer. Um, have plant protein sashes if you want to go that route. Have whey protein. Have eggs. It needs to be one third of your plate. And vegetables need to be one third. Those are the actual things that build your body. The carbohydrates give you energy. Forget all the other diet advice. Start with this. When you stop eating is as important as what you eat. So think about your day and think about the last meal of your day. Is the last meal of your day less than two hours before you go to bed? If it is, that's the reason why your sleep quality suffers. Because if you eat closer to your bedtime, when you're asleep and you're thinking, oh, I'm sleeping, your body's actually working. It's working to digest all that food. So just keep a two hour window, at least I do longer now, between the time you have your last meal and the time you go to bed. Just that one thing improves your sleep quality, gives you more energy when you wake up in the morning and overall gives you so much more energy to be fitter in life, to be healthier in life. So yeah, just two hours. Speaking of sleep, do you stare at your phone till the moment you go to bed? Are you looking at it, scrolling through social media, watching videos like this before you go to bed? Remember that when you're looking at a screen, it's still giving you a certain amount of push. You know, it's giving you that, you know, I'm not even, I don't have to know the word for it right now. I'm just forgetting. You're getting the dopamine hit over there in your head. For the last one hour before you go to bed, just put that screen away. You know, it doesn't matter if you pick up a book, talking to a friend, listen to some music. Just don't stare at a screen. I've done this for years now. I've done this for the last two, three years where I don't look at a screen for the last one hour before I go to bed. And for the first one hour when I wake up in the morning, that has made a phenomenal difference to how I feel in my mind and how my sleep feels to me as well. Because I'm not going in with a dopamine hit, I'm not waking up and immediately getting a dopamine hit as well. So I'm easing into my sleep and I'm warming up to my day. And those two things make the rest of the day so much better. And you can actually go out there and perform so much better. So just like one hour, put that phone away. Give it some rest as well. In the morning, let it sleep a little longer. You can pick it up after that. This one's a little controversial, but 
first thing in the morning you don't have to have a heavy breakfast what you need to do is replenish salts so either drink some electrolytes have some natural electrolytes just coconut water or just have some warm water with some salt in it these things help your body kind of alkalize itself right kind of kick start your day and that's all you need for a few hours maybe have a banana banana is a great source of energy it's one of the best things to have first thing in the morning and go out and do that physical activity for a lot of people because you have that heavy breakfast you can't go out and work out you can't go and exercise start off with this you know the energy your body needs it already has all you need to do is give it the hydration give it the salts and go out there and do some physical exercise or just go for a walk in the morning don't have to exercise in the morning you can be an even exerciser as well but don't have a heavy breakfast once you get into that habit you will suddenly see that you are a lot more clear in the morning you have a lot more focus you're not feeling muggy you haven't gotten up sleepy eaten something heavy getting even sleepier and like yawning at like 10 a.m this is what you do just hydrate salt go for a walk or run or work out there's one thing all of us do throughout our lives but we don't think about enough it's how we breathe that's because we take it for granted so think about how your breath is pay attention to it once in a while are you a shallow breather or are you a deeper breather every once in a while take a deep breath you know take it in through your nose hold it for a few seconds push it out through your mouth if you want sometimes you can push out through your nose as well just that ever so often a few times a day take a few deep breaths right it could be for a minute could be 30 seconds whatever just doing that gives a little burst of energy which almost feels like a hit like wow i got some amount of energy out of this and the more you do that you actually stay a lot healthier in life and to do everything that you want to do so remember to breathe which is crazy that for me to even say but most of us forget how to breathe last one and this one i know is not accessible to everyone but i think it's what the best thing to do if you have someone you can hug with parent could be a pet could be someone you love could be a friend just make sure you hug someone every day um 30 seconds minute 2 minutes just give someone a nice big hug that hug can give you all forms of energy makes your heart feel nice as well i have kids and i love hugging my kids through the, sometimes at night when they are asleep sometimes when they wake up in the morning through the day whenever i meet them i hug my wife i hug my friends just hug people a hug can make you healthier than anything else in your life and these are seven things you can do to make you healthier happier fitter but most i would say more satisfied with how you feel throughout your day if these things gave you value i want you to let me know which one resonated with the most which one have you already done and what have i missed that you feel should be added to this list drop this in the comments um let me know what else you'd want on this channel anything which i can improve with how i'm doing this and i'll see you in the next video of founders notes with me arundu girala till then make sure you hit subscribe rather click subscribe and ring that bell icon i'll see you in the next video if you're a parent and you finished watching this video and you want your kid to build more emotional intelligence and more emotional strength then make sure you check out the emomi youtube channel i'm dropping the link down below it's a place where your kids can actually learn about everything from confidence to their own emotions to building resilience and emotional strength and so much more we're going to be dropping a ton of content there for parents to show their kids but even if you're a grown up you might learn a bunch of things over there as well so make sure you check it out and i'll see you guys in the next video